We wanted to give the kids an opportunity to demonstrate their knowledge of buoyancy and Archimedes principle and the things they've learned in their AP Physics class. And so using only cardboard and duct tape, the students were tasked with building a boat that was sufficient to not only carry them to the end of the pool and back, but also it had the structural integrity to survive, the balance was correct, the boat wouldn't tip or capsize. Now we're testing them out. We were doing a section on fluid dynamics and this is kind of like the grand finale to the section. If you are able to get in the boat, that's 60%. If you're able to make it halfway, that's a 70. You make it all the way back, it's 80. And if you make it back here, it's a 95. And then if you're able to get out of the boat, it's 100. I did good. I, I made it all the way back. <laughs> I think the best learning is hands-on, fun type of learning. The students had to make all the mathematical calculations to prove that the boats that they had built were large enough, hypothetically, they may not have been built properly, but large enough to, to support their weight. and so. By taking high level ideas and simplifying them and making them enjoyable and hands on, I think perpetuates the learning. I didn't think I would make a good boat, but I made an amazing boat. I used my physics knowledge too, and it's pretty cool. Understanding all the principles of why boats float, I think it's, it's good. Kids are afraid to take physics because they think it, it, it's all mathematics. And there is a, a large mathematical component, but at the same time, you can make it enjoyable and make the learning lifelong and memorable without necessarily the math. I have a large horse trough in my classroom and we do volume displacement with Archimedes principle where a kid is actually submerged completely for about 20 minutes and they breathe through a snorkel and we figure out their body volume based on the, the amount of water displaced. It's a good time, it's fun. Just learning the idea of fluid dynamics, I think it worked really well. <laughs> it would be nice to be able to do this with other schools where we could meet after school and we could have some type of event or a sharing of learning across other classrooms. That would be great.